Have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crango! Skate Lad! Rope Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. My Rizuri is the best stuffed animal in the whole world. Now I don't know, Kyle's the elephant. Rules all cuteness. No way. Look. Rogerio is furry and has a funny bow tie. Cuddles is soft and pink and pretty. Ah! Oh man, I'm gonna be late. Where is he? Where could he be? <laughs> oh no, the twins. Hey, leave my duck alone. Stay up there, Mr. Paro. I'll see you when I get home. Our lesson today will be on the buildings of ancient Egypt. Did out, Hector! You just made it! These are the pyramids of Giza. Yes, Crandall. Isn't it true that the position of those three pyramids directly corresponds with the stars in the belt of Orion? No, Cra. Well, that might be true. Let's see. So perhaps the aliens who really built the pyramids are from the belt of Orion. No, Crandall. Aliens did not build the pyramids. Crandall, Brenda, and Hector, the governor needs you in his office. You are excused. Group me, Brenda! Your cute and cuddly concession's been cleared out? Trouble tracking Teddy? Your stuffed snakes seemingly sayonara? We're on it. Thanks for coming, kids. My phone's been ringing off the hook with all sorts of kooky calls about missing and misbehaving stuffed animals. Maybe somebody's little sisters took them. Not everyone has little sisters. Something must be going on. Pfft, yeah, like mass hysteria. As you kids can see, the chief refuses to dignify this one with an investigation. This one's strictly for kids. And we're just the kids for the job. We'll start looking at the deluxe toy store. Toy store? <laughs> Good thinking, Cap. Now, where are the stuffed animals? Probably with the baby toys. No, they're down this way. But I only know that because of my sisters. Huh? Whoa, they're all gone. Wait, look over there. Somebody's taking them after that wagon. Whoever was trying to make off with these stuffed animals must still be nearby. Let's split up. What the? Yo, teddy bear, what you doing up there? What happened? Why that little... Uh. Easy there, skate lad. Yeah, it's just a teddy. It pushed those boxes down on me. Hey, where'd the bear go? Huh? He's up. No, he's not. The wagon's gone too. There's something very strange going on here. Hey, Crandall, what's up? Our latest case is a bit baffling, Gene. Yeah, our only clue is something I saw. But it's too weird to be true. 
Well, Sherlock Holmes says when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever's left, however improbable, must be the truth. Sounds like good advice, Jean. Thanks, Crandall. I have to know these things if I'm going to be a famous mystery writer someday. So you think that teddy bear's behind all the thefts? I don't know about all the thefts, but it is our only lead. Let's go ask Mr. Paulson if it's possible. Hey, Timo, what can I do for you? Uh, Mr. Paulson, this is gonna sound strange, but is it possible for stuffed animals to kind of move on their own? Move on their own? Hmm. Someone at a scientific conference a few years ago made that claim. Really? Yes, here she is, Erica Fabrica. She came up with an applicant which she said would keep stuffed animals from being accidentally or callously thrown away. And by picking up emotional brainwaves, my compound would allow stuffed animals to respond in self-defense when <laughs> someone... I'm serious! But it sounded so crazy, people just laughed her off the stage. Where is she now? Sorry, kids. It was years ago, and no one's heard from her since. So, what have we got so far? A crazy lady! And stuffed animals that... Yo! You see what I see? Yes, I do. Follow that penguin! Let's get him! Hold on, rope girl. Let's see where those stuffed toys are going. If my hunch is right, they'll lead us right to all the other missing stuffed animals. <laughs> We've been spotted! Evasive action! Ow! Who knew soft things could get so rough? They're getting away! Don't worry, I managed to put a tracer dot on one of them. We'll be able to track them down. Mm. Stuffed animal cleaners? Who knew you could clean them? Oh yeah, they did a really nice job with my, uh, I mean, my sister's stuffed animals. Looks like they're in the back of the store. Go, Zoink! Look at all the stuffed stuff! Excellent work, my cuddlies. These new ones will make fine additions to our fuzzy family. It's the lady from the video! Fabrica. And it seems her crazy spray idea isn't crazy after all. Don't worry, little one. You needn't worry about people hurting you ever again. Isn't that right, Widow Duck? <coughs> oh, no! She's got my duck! That stuffed duck's yours? Did I say that? Yes? Well, uh, yeah, he is. Shh. Look. Yes. My emotionation spray makes all stuffed animals succumb to my feelings and thoughts. Now go and join your stuffed animal brothers and sisters. Finally, after years of secretly spraying plush toys, my day of vengeance is here. Soon the entire state will pay for the day my stuffed animals were thrown away. That's our cue. Not so fast, Fabrica! Timo Supremo? That's right! Surrender now so we can return these cuddly toys to their rightful owners! I don't think so. I think I'm gonna take my new friend somewhere nice to live. Like Bermuda! No way! Mr. Pato is mine, and you can't have him! Oh, but I can. And I will! You see, Timo Supremo, you haven't met my stuffed animal army! <laughs> Rope girl, we can handle him. What's that? Look it, giant lions and bears. What's that? What's that? Dinosaurs? Who makes these things? There's too many of them. Wait a second, that's Tyranno. And that's my plan. You guys still have stuffed animals, too? Uh, yeah. But I don't sleep with them or anything. Farewell, Timo Supremo. It's time for my cuddlies and me to take our revenge. Attack! Timo Supremo! Chica! No stuffed buddy of mine is working for that villain. Same goes for you, Cliff. You too, Tyranno. Whoa! Ah! Stop, Mr. Pato. Knock it off. What happened to the stuffed duck I love? Don't you remember your old pal, Hector? I saved you from the twins this morning. Yeah, come on, Mr. Pato. Don't try and hurt me. You're my pal. Ah, Mr. Pato, you're back to normal. Cap, Rope Girl, quick, tell your stuffed animals how much you like them. Hey, Cliff, I love you. Zazam! Good old Cliff! I'm very fond of you, stuffed dinosaur. No, you really gotta mean it. Whoa! <gasps> Mm. They're 
Sorry about stuffing you in my closet, Tyrannical buddy. Hey, it worked. Yeah, but how will we stop the rest of Fabrica's stuffed army? Skate lad, I think I have a plan. Yes, my cuddlies! Show no mercy! Destroy! Destroy! Hold it right there, Fabrica! So, Timo Supremo, what makes you think you'll fare any better with my cuddlies this time? Oh, we've got hundreds of reasons. Come on, kids! Great! Good show these stuffed animals who really cares for them! Rosario, Rosario! Cuddles, I love you! Don't be silly, Petey. Put that down and come back home with me. No, no! Don't listen to them, my cuddlies! Listen to me! I'm trying to save you! I want to take you to Bermuda! That's crazy talk, Fabrica! Your quest for revenge very nearly turned everyone else's stuffed animals into unlovable monsters! It did? Oh, no! What have I done? <laughs> I didn't mean to make them mean! Perhaps I loved too much. Don't we all? Come on, you'll have lots of things to love at the State Facility for Wacky Inventors. I have to hand it to you, Timo. Having all those kids claim their stuffed animals on the spot was one spiffy idea. You saved the state thousands in shipping alone. Thanks, Governor Kevin. Fabrica's plan was pretty powerful. Not as powerful as a kid's feelings for his stuffed buddies. Right, Mr. Pato? Now that's a good ducky. Looks like Action's in no hurry to go to the pub cleaners. Maybe cold water gives him the scoochie wochies. Come on, Action. Remember, cleanliness is next to righteousness. <laughs> Atta boy. There you go, boy. Nice and clean. <gasps> hey! You can't take those hoses! Oh, yeah, we can and we will. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Indeed. To an outdoor transformation area. <laughs> you make sure they don't get away. We'll be right back. Root me, Brenda! <laughs> Come on, give me the hose. Unhand that hose, evil doer. Good idea, kid. Action! Buzz! Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am the Hydro, and this is my amphibious army! Yeah, so? So, we can live on water or land. That makes us superior to you. Thus, we are entitled to take whatever we want from you sniveling landies. You better let Cap go, scuba slug! Back away, inferior land dwellers! If you do not cease to medicine mock me, your precious Cap will suffer consequences of the sort that will be consequential! All right, amphibians, let's show the land is how superior we are by taking their hoses! Our pets need no washing because we live in water! This is one of the many numerous ways we amphibians are superior to you. Get out! Release my superior posterior, you vile and sudsy surface creature! Action! Are you okay, boy? Baby's <laughs> getting away! Well, inadequate fresh air breathers, you have failed to thwart me and my superior amphibians in our plan to rightfully rule the state. Quick, after him! Down in the Russian water? Yeah, let's go! Shouldn't we talk to Governor Kevin first? You know, to uh, see what we're up against? We know what we're up against, and they're getting away! Then we might as well see Governor Kevin. His information is always most informative. 
The Hydro is a former cruise director slash diving instructor who gave up his gig and now claims that humanity's true destiny lies beneath the waves. So why do you think he wanted those hoses? Good question. Chief? We don't know what the Hydro's up to, but we're pretty sure he stole the world's largest bellows. Our state's symbolic thank you to the blacksmiths who helped settle it? Bingo! They swiped it right out of our hall of symbolic gestures. The greater bummer is that we have no idea where he took it or where he could be hiding. We might be able to figure that one out with a little help from our old pal, Action. <laughs> Action, are you sure this is the place? I don't see any sign of the hydro. Me neither. Let's go. Yo, what's up with that big clump of seaweed? Gee, yo, it's the amphibious army. The hydro, I demand that you tell us your secret plan. Ah, you think you can trick me into revealing my secret plan? Well, you can't. But I'll tell you anyway, because you're too inferior to stop it. I plan to flood the state so that only we superior amphibians can dwell here. <gasps> Impressive. You actually get it. But you've gotten it too late. For soon, I will complete my hydrogenator, a device capable of blasting water everywhere. You'll never get away with it, Dehydro. Oh, who will stop me? You who are inferior? I laugh at your foolishness. Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye, Timo Supremo. The whole state will soon be very, very soggy. Quick, Skate Lab Hydro Mode! We can use my shield as a water sled. Chica! But that! Rope Girl, get on and loop your rope around Skate Lab so we can tow us! I'm not so sure. Come on, they're getting away! Whoops! Ah. Okay, Skate Lad, let's ride! Okay, Brenda? Yeah. You kind of lost your cool back there in the water. Well, I don't like to admit I'm afraid of anything, but... You're afraid of the water? Just desperately. How do you take a bath? Sponges? That's nothing to be ashamed of. All Earthlings have fears. Right, Jean? Right, Crandall. And fear of water is one of the most common. Its scientific name is hydrophobia. And the best way to overcome your fear is to gain mastery over the water by learning to swim. Thanks for the analysis, Jean. Sure, Crandall. I have to know these things if I'm going to be a famous psychotherapist someday. But how can I learn to swim when I'm afraid to get in the water? That could be tricky. Indeed, Hector. Perhaps Mr. Paulson can help us. Sorry, but I can't help you, Rope Girl. If you want to learn to swim, you have to get in the water. We'll all be in the water once the Hydro finishes building his hydrogenator. You know, I'm not so sure that would be good for our trees and flowers. And we could just forget about regular phone service. Right, Governor Kevin. The Hydro must be stopped, even if Rope Girl can't help. <laughs> Two-thirds of Timo and a pesky pooch are still enough to defeat Dehydro. And you know, I think I have just the thing to help you. Cool. Indeed. Oh, yes, action. I forgot. That must be the hydrogeny. What a shameful use of the world's largest bellows. Are you guys seeing this? Clear as day, skate lad. I sure wish I could help him. You know, Brenda, I used to be afraid of the water, too. For reals? Sure. But once I learned to swim, I liked it so much I became a lifeguard. I'd be more than happy to teach you to swim. You think you could? See, it's not that bad. Now, let go of the floaty horse. Surrender now, Dehydro, before Timo Supremo has to get rough. Ha! 
surrender to you who are inferior? I find that funny in a way that is no doubt over your head. Even if you were not so ridiculously inferior to us, which you are, you would still be too late! The hydrogenator is rising to the surface. We've got to switch that lever back. Right, Skate Lad, let's go. Ow! 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 They're shelling us with shellfish! I wish Rope Girl was here. Her rope could deflect the clams right back at those scuba stooges. Ha ha ha! Eat water, land losers! Once again, I shall begin laughing at you in such a way as to signify that I recognize my superiority to you. Ha ha ha! For someone so superior, you are kind of redundant, the hydro. Whoop girl! Perhaps you do not remember your humiliating defeat at the hands of my amphibians. Perhaps you don't remember my rope. We've got to shut that water up before he floods the whole state. I can do that. I thought you were afraid of water. Guess I got over it. Perhaps you foiled my clam launchers. No matter. Soon the entire state will be underwater, making it perfect for superior amphibians. Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Huh? Root girl did it. She stopped the water. Uh oh. Now to catch the hydro. <laughs> superior amphibians, retreat. Good boy, Action. How can this be? Defeated by land dwellers? I feel as if I must mock myself with malicious laughter. Ha ha ha! Wicked waterwork, Timo. Now the good citizens of our state can enjoy water sports for fun, not necessity. Most of the thanks goes to Rope Girl. No, thanks, Samantha, for teaching me swimming and advanced water safety. Well, way to go, Samantha and Rope Girl. Oh, oh and you too, Action. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs>